Located southeast of the U.S. state of Florida, the Bahamas is an island country in the Atlantic Ocean. One of the Bahama Islands, San Salvador, also called Watling Island, is probably the site where Christopher Columbus first landed in the New World in 1492. The name Bahamas may have come from an Arawak Indian word or from the Spanish word Bahamar, meaning, shallow water. Formerly a British colony, the Bahamas became an independent country within the Commonwealth in 1973. The capital and largest city of the Bahamas is Nassau, on New Providence Island. Area 5,382 square miles, 13,939 square kilometers. Population, 2020 est. 381,200. Land and climate. The Bahamas is an archipelago, or group of islands. The archipelago comprises nearly 700 islands and cays, keys, and more than 2,000 low, barren rock formations. Only about 30 of the islands and cays are inhabited. The archipelago extends more than 500 miles, 800 kilometers, reaching from a point off the southeast coast of Florida almost to the island of Hispaniola. Through this island barrier there are only three channels for large vessels, for the islands are merely the exposed portions of the Great Bahama Bank, an extension of the North American continental shelf. A continental shelf is a broad, relatively shallow undersea plain that forms a border to a continent. The islands are generally low and flat. The highest point in the entire archipelago, Mount Alvernia on Cat Island, is only 206 feet, 63 meters, above sea level. There are no running streams, except on Andros, the largest island. Fresh water is procured from wells dug in underlying rocks. On the northeastern coast of New Providence Island is the capital, Nassau. Other Bahama Islands include Abaco, Eleuthera, Grand Bahama, and Long Island. The climate is mild throughout the year. The average temperature varies from the low 70s F, about 21 degrees Celsius, during the winter to the low 80s F, about 27 degrees Celsius, during the summer. The average annual rainfall is about 44 inches, 112 centimeters. Rain falls mostly during the summer months. Hurricanes pose a threat from June to November and have occasionally caused great destruction. People and culture. Most of the population of the Bahamas is of African descent. Small numbers of people are either of European descent or of mixed European and African heritage. English is the official language of the Bahamas. Because of the influx of Haitian immigrants since the mid-20th century, French and Haitian Creoles, a mixture of French and African languages, are also spoken. A high percentage of Bahamians are members of Christian churches. The majority of them are Protestants, with smaller proportions of Roman Catholics and members of other Christian denominations. The most prominent cultural institutions in the Bahamas are located in Nassau, including ones devoted to the performing arts, painting, sculpture, and photography, as well as crafts. The Dundas Center for the Performing Arts presents dramas, musicals, and dance performances. Art and crafts can be seen at a variety of galleries, most notably the National Art Gallery of the Bahamas, located in a mansion overlooking Nassau Harbor. Many Bahamians play and follow cricket and soccer, association football. Basketball is growing in popularity. Bahamians also have excelled at track and field, tennis, and yachting. Almost every inhabited island hosts a sailing regatta or fishing tournament each year. Scuba diving, snorkeling, and windsurfing are also popular water sports. Economy. Lacking natural resources other than their magnificent climate and dazzling beaches, the islands are economically dependent on tourism. About two-thirds of the island's workers are involved in tourist-related businesses. The many attractions of the Bahamas include gambling casinos that have opened in several areas. Paradise Island, a luxury tourist resort with high-rise hotels and casinos, was developed in the 1960s. It shelters Nassau's excellent natural harbor, which can accommodate cruise ships of all sizes. The Ardastra Gardens and Zoo, west of Nassau, are another famed attraction. The continued popularity of the islands with tourists has helped to maintain a relatively high standard of living for the country's population. The economy is also dependent on international financial services. Hundreds of banks and trust companies have been attracted to the Bahamas because the secrecy of financial transactions is guaranteed and because there are no income or corporate taxes in the country. The government of the Bahamas relies instead on indirect taxes, which are levied primarily on tourism and external trade. 
In spite of the devotion to tourism in the country's urban centers, the traditional pattern of small farming and fishing still prevails in many villages, notably in the southeastern islands. Fruits and vegetables are grown. Pigs, sheep, goats, cattle, and poultry are raised. The small fishing industry's catch is dominated by spiny lobster, grouper, and conch. Mineral industries are limited to the production of salt and cement. Electricity is generated entirely from imported petroleum and liquefied natural gas. Manufacturing industries center on the production of rum and other liquor. Pharmaceuticals are also produced. Crude salt and lobster are among the major exports. Principal imports include machinery, mineral fuels, and food. By far the country's most important trading partner is the United States. Government. The Bahamas is a constitutional monarchy with a parliamentary system of government. It became an independent country within the Commonwealth in 1973. The Constitution of the Bahamas, adopted upon independence, is patterned on that of the United Kingdom. The bicameral, or two-chambered, Parliament of the Bahamas comprises the House of Assembly and the Senate. The formal head of state is the British monarch, who is represented by a governor-general. The head of government is the prime minister, who is formally appointed by the governor-general. The prime minister must be a member of the House of Assembly and must be able to command a majority of its votes. House members are directly elected to five-year terms. Members of the Senate are appointed by the governor-general and also serve five-year terms. The judiciary is led by the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court. The ultimate Court of Appeal, however, is the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council in the United Kingdom. History. The islands of the Bahamas were originally inhabited by a group of Arawak Indians who had settled the archipelago from Hispaniola by Ad 800. When Christopher Columbus reached the New World in 1492, he is thought to have first landed on San Salvador, Watling, Island or possibly Samana Cay. Columbus formally claimed the Bahama Islands for Spain before sailing to Cuba and Hispaniola. The Spaniards made no attempt to settle the Bahama Islands but operated slave raids on the peaceful Arawak people. Between 1492 and 1508, Spanish raiders carried off about 40,000 natives to work in the mines of Hispaniola. The islands remained depopulated for more than a century before the first English settlement was established. English settlers arrived from Bermuda in 1648. It is believed that they settled on Eleuthera Island, then known as Sigatu. Their settlement did not prosper, but other migrants continued to arrive from Bermuda. New Providence Island was settled in 1666. In 1670 King Charles II granted the islands to the Duke of Albemarle and five others as a proprietary colony. The proprietors, however, did not take a very active interest in the development of the islands, which soon became a haven for pirates. The colony reverted to direct crown control in 1717. Soon afterward, the colony's first royal governor, Woods Rogers, succeeded in subduing the pirates and establishing more stable conditions. Under Rogers, the islands held their first representative assembly in 1729. In 1776 Nassau was captured by the U.S. Navy, which was seeking supplies during the American Revolution. The Navy evacuated after only a few days. In May 1782 the colony surrendered to Spain, but it was restored to Britain a year later. After the conclusion of the American Revolution, many former American colonists who had remained loyal to Britain during the war fled to the Bahamas. These loyalists brought their slaves with them, increasing the population of the island severalfold. The cotton plantations that they developed there relied on slave labor. The plantations were productive for a period, but the abolition of slavery in the 1830s brought about their ultimate collapse. Many former slaves and plantation owners took to subsistence farming, growing crops mainly to feed their own families. There were later attempts to grow pineapples, citrus fruits, and tobacco for export, but all of these attempts failed. Not until the highly successful development of tourism after World War II was any firm economic base established in the islands. The islands were given internal self-government in 1964. Following a 1972 electoral mandate for independence from Britain, they achieved full independence as the Commonwealth of the Bahamas in July 1973. The main political parties were the majority Progressive Liberal Party, PLP, and the opposition Free National Movement, FNM. After independence the government embarked on programs to improve economic development in the country, 
increase the standard of living, and curb rising unemployment. In the 1992 general elections the FNM swept into power for the first time. The party increased its majority in the 1997 elections. The PLP regained the majority in the 2002 elections, however. The two parties continued to trade power frequently during the first decades of the 21st century. In September 2019 the eyes of the world were on the Bahamas as Hurricane Dorian struck the country. A Category 5 hurricane, Dorian devastated Grand Bahama, Abaco, and other islands and Cays. The storm claimed the lives of at least 70 people and left tens of thousands homeless. Prime Minister Hubert Minnis called the event, one of the greatest national crises in our country's history.